hey, let's talk about light wines. Wines that go with the warm weather we're all enjoying, spring, summer, weather that we're all enjoying so much. A Gruner Felt Leaner. A lot of people have never had a Gruner Felt Leaner. I'm introducing you to one today. It's a wine from Austria. It's dry, it's white, and it's savory. It has notes of celery and root vegetables, green beans, and it's known for its mouth-watering acidity. Believe me, this wine is the pride and joy of Austria. The grape is grown in other places. Austria has it knocked down. Don't even bother. Give it a try from Austria. They're priced around 20 all the way up to around $65 per bottle, depending. Gruner Felt Leader. It's also known as Gruner, and in some hip places in uh, Europe, it's called Groovy. Gruner Felt Leaner, give it a try. It's delicious with salads and roasted vegetables. It's also delicious with seafood. Now we have the rosé from France. I pretty much only drink rosés from France. They are the leader in making a rosé. They make them beautifully. This one is Guigal. It's a nice family-owned winery. They have a beautiful portfolio of wines. Please have a look at their portfolio. Well, this rosé is primarily made from Grenache, which is a red grape. All rosés are made from red grapes. It's the skin contact that makes the wine turn that beautiful rosé color. Isn't that color amazing? And they are beautiful chilled as well. There is a controversy as to should you put a rosé on ice cubes? Well, you can, technically, but I say don't bother. Just serve it chilled. It dilutes that beautiful rosé color. It also dilutes the taste if it's left with the ice cubes for too long. So be careful with that, even though it is socially acceptable to do so. Rosés do oxidize very quickly, so don't leave it in the refrigerator for too long. Even a wine refrigerator, don't leave it in for too long. It will oxidize and it will not be pleasantly uh, to drink. Rosés are beautiful, drank young. They're not too expensive. Even the very expensive one isn't too expensive. Uh, please check out the ones from France. I recommend those. Pinot Noir. Did you all hear about the competition where the Pinot Noirs from Oregon beat the ones from France? I was stunned and very much in joy for them because they've worked so hard over the years to make their Pinot Noirs amazing. And a Pinot Noir isn't always an easy grape to grow. Uh, they're very uh, fickle, as the term would be. But Oregon has really done an amazing job with their Pinot Noir. They're beautiful. The one I have today, Pike Road, is from the Willamette Valley of Oregon. It's delicious. Now, I will tell you, the Pinot Noir is festing a hefty price tag these days from Oregon. They used to be around $20 per bottle. Now they're going up to around $75 and even higher per bottle. And as I always say, you'll never be sorry that you invested in a fine wine. And a Pinot Noir from Oregon is that fine wine. They're light. They're low in alcohol. They're earthy tasting with a little bit of cranberry. They go with uh, lighter foods that we're having right now, like turkey burgers and things like that, veggie burgers, the uh, Boca burgers that uh, vegetarians eat, mushroom dishes, absolutely, and salads, oh, and fish. You know that uh, salmon is the king of the sea, and you can pair it with a Pinot Noir. Oh, I love these beautiful three wines. They're going to make the warm weather so wonderful and enjoyable. I love wine, and I want you to love it too. Cheers! For your information, I have a very busy calendar. Please join me in some of these fun events. I am teaching wine classes at the Summit County Libraries, June, July, and August. It's free to check it out, so make sure you go to their website and look at the itinerary. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please join me. The Summit County Libraries, Wanda, is going to be teaching and educating on wine. Various subject matters, they're all fun. Oh, and also, I am going to be a wine educator with a very prestigious culinary school in Columbus, Ohio. The Mix Culinary School is in Columbus, Ohio. Please check out their Facebook page. I'm going to be doing a sparkling Zoom chat June 30th. I'd love it if you join June 30th with the Mix Culinary School. Make sure you check out their website and check out their Facebook page to find out more about it. Gosh, I love wine. I want you to love it too. Cheers.